The speaker, when you have leadership, you need to be magnanimous. You need to put service ahead of personal interests. And the Senator Cheriot, leader of majority, you will go far because you have demonstrated that you are magnanimous. I've gone through the members serving in committees and you have not allocated yourself even one committee. I also want to thank the side of majority because going to the sessional committees, none of the senators in leadership have taken up committees on any sessional committee membership. That is magnanimous. But on this side, the side that should be leading with example, Mr. Speaker, our leaders have allocated themselves membership in all the sessional committees. Shame on us. Shame on us. Mr. Speaker, I cannot understand a situation, Mr. Speaker, where yesterday a senator representing a very special constituency, constituents of disability, made a passionate plea that she be given membership in the committee of ICT. She has been excluded, Mr. Speaker. She has been excluded. It's a shame, Mr. Speaker. I've served in this Senate. I was here for five years, Mr. Speaker. When I was appointed chair of the Committee of Justice, Legal Affairs and Human Rights, Mr. Speaker, I had to seat membership of the Committee of Delegated Legislation because I could not get time, Mr. Speaker, to serve in three committees, Mr. Speaker. But what I'm seeing here, Mr. Speaker, and with tremendous respect to those in leadership, distinguished senators, Mr. Speaker, is a situation, Mr. Speaker, where somebody is in the leadership, but they still want to serve in four other committees. What are we trying to show, Mr. Speaker? Leadership is not about you being greedy, Mr. Speaker. Leadership is about you giving opportunities to those who have the same qualification as you to serve, Mr. Speaker. The law students watching their professor here, professor of law, professor of gender, being excluded from membership of justice and legal affairs. What message are we sending, Mr. Speaker? Mr. Speaker, nobody is more special in the contribution that we made in garnering votes for our party leader, Raila Molodinka, Mr. Speaker. From the county of Nyamira, from the county of Kisi, we gave as much as we could, like the senator for Ision, Mr. Speaker. And I can read the figures. From the county of Nyamira, Mr. Speaker, we delivered 129,000 votes to Raila Odinga. From Ision, Mr. Speaker, Raila Odinga got 26,000. He lost to William Ruto, who got 32,000, Mr. Speaker. But as we speak here, Mr. Speaker, the only way you want to thank the Omogusi nation is to say that we deserve nothing, Mr. Speaker. Don't we have capacity to learn, Mr. Speaker? Even in the county of Kisi, where William Samoy Ruto got 134,000 votes against Raila Odinga at 263,000, he has rewarded the Omogusi nation with the seat of whip in the National Assembly. Because you must have regional balance. You must have fairness, Mr. Speaker. And we must speak these things because an injustice anywhere should never be tolerated, Mr. Speaker. Where is justice, Mr. Speaker? When the names that have been read today, Mr. Speaker, the next person in leadership also is in five committees, Mr. Speaker. 